Hey guys, it's Martin Cliff here and welcome to another Sunday Short. Um, and today I wanted to talk about the concept of digital minimalism. Uh, now, one of the reasons I think this is worth uh, addressing is it's one of the easiest and probably most rewarding forms of or approaches to minimalism to get into uh, from the fact that uh, it doesn't require you throwing away lots of stuff or anything like that. It just requires a little bit of time curating um, some of your digital input. Um, so what do I mean by this? Well, let me give you some examples. Uh, I realized a few months ago that I was subscribed to 483 YouTube channels or something along those lines, some crazy number. And I wasn't necessarily getting a huge amount of value out of a large number of them. Maybe I'd subscribed to them in the past when I was specifically interested in a certain thing uh, and just never unsubscribed. Or maybe they'd even just stopped producing content or certainly content that I was interested in. Maybe they were musicians who had gone down the very popular route of doing more and more commercial stuff which then is basically trying to sell you stuff which uh, as someone who is you know, very anti-consumerist and, and focused on a more minimal approach to life um, that kind of goes against my, my personal values. There are all sorts of things that um, may have contributed to why I didn't want to still be subscribed to, to all these channels. So over a couple, period of a couple of days I went through and I curated and I'm subscribed now to 110 YouTube channels so you know, less than a quarter of, of what it was um, and the channels that I am subscribed to are ones that, that bring me value. Now I, my subscription feed I probably get six to eight videos a day which is a perfectly manageable amount of content um, and I don't, wouldn't say I watch all of them by any means but yeah the, that to me is, is uh, a you know, manageable approach whereas before I was getting you know I'd log on in the morning and there'd be like 35, 40 new videos to watch and it's like kind of overwhelming um, so yeah, that was one example also um, Instagram I've for a long time made it a policy that I only follow people I know um, which is a slightly unusual thing. I mean there, there are a couple of company accounts that I follow because I know the people who work for the companies and I respect what they do. Um, but you know, 99% of the under 70 people that I follow are, on Instagram are friends. So um, again it's just a way of not being bombarded with, with stuff. Um, and then I'm sure everyone has had the unwanted emails trying to sell you stuff from whoever or whatever company and it's a law that they have to provide an unsubscribe option for these things so every time you get an email for something that you're not passionately interested in from a mailing list click unsubscribe um, and it will you, know, you you won't miss out on, on anything at all really of, of value because if you know that you know a, a shop or something is somewhere that you would go to get something then you can just go to their website and look for it when you want it you may miss out on the odd deal but the problem with that is you're always tempted to buy more stuff if you do that um, so yeah I've, I've made it a policy of going through and I unsubscribe from everything I am subscribed currently to four newsletters Two are related to um, Crossroads Foundation, which is the charity that I, by the time you're watching this, will have just finished working for voluntarily for 11 months. So yeah, that's something that's very close to me. And then I'm subscribed to a quarterly newsletter from a magazine, the, a digital magazine that I subscribe to, so that it tells me when to download the new issue. Uh, and I'm subscribed to the new letter from RGO Music Technology because again we're on Sharia friends and I'm interested in the products and, and updates they're putting out which again is not something that, that comes very often and that's it so it just makes my life, my inbox I'm looking at my inbox now 
and I have 17 emails in there. Not 17 unread emails, 17 emails. Um, and this is at a busy time where we're trying to do, um, you know, sort out moving and everything like that. So it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of thought, but curating your digital content, minimizing the input, you, the unwanted inputs you get from people and companies can really make your life a lot simpler. Okay, it might take a few minutes now, but over the course of a year, how many minutes will it save you by not having to go through and delete stuff or um, you know, plow through stuff you're not interested in? It's worth it. So just a, you know, a little idea that maybe will help some of you along the way. Take care guys, I'll see you soon.